just like our artist for this week, who touched a lot of lives with his words. In 1963, he left Nsuka to assume the position of West African representative of Cambridge University Press in Oyo State, a position which gave him the opportunity to travel frequently to the United Kingdom, where he attracted further attention. When he was in Ibadan, he became part of the Mbari Literary Club, which had members such as Wally Shuinka, Chino Achebe, Mabel Shegu, Bruce Onobrakbea, and John Pepe Clark. Born on August 16, 1932 in Anambra State, Southeast Nigeria, Christopher Ifekandu Okibo was a poet and an author. His father was a teacher and Catholic missionary, so he moved around a lot as a child. In 1945, he went for his secondary education in Umuahia Government College. Like many other major Nigerian writers, such as Wali Shoinka, Elechi Amadi, John Pepper Clark and Cole Omotosho, he also attended the University College of Ibadan. Okibo first planned to study medicine, but changed his major to Greek and Latin, graduating in 1956. He began publishing his work in various journals, notably Black Ophius, a literary journal intended to bring together the best works of African writers. But that did not stop him from rejecting the first prize in African poetry, which was awarded to him at the 1965 World Festival of Negro Art in Dakar, Ghana because of his firm belief that there was no such thing as a Negro or Black poet. At the start of the Civil War in Nigeria, Christopher Okibo died in the battlefield in 1967, leaving a slim collection of 72 pages of poetry 